Okay, evening everybody. Um, Coach Warren Gallen and match captain Peter Omani. Um, can we have a, another question from writers, please? Murray, please, thank you. Warren, pretty impressive performance up front. Do you think you've sent a bit of message to the All Blacks after their big win against them all? Um, I don't know. We haven't really been... It's, it's been all about ourselves, and it's been about ourselves improving from game to game, and up against you know every match is absolute quality opposition and you know we're learning from those experiences um, and and benefiting from the opposition that we're playing against so again another step up tonight and um, you know really good performance for the, you know, a number of those players that played against the Crusaders last week too so um, in terms of the, in terms of the All Blacks we'll start thinking about the him a little bit more this week. Right. Warren, you've made a quite a deliberate effort to be quite respectful and everything since you got here. Uh, have you been disappointed with the tone of the, some of the things that have been coming out of the All Black camp in the last week or so? Yeah, a, a, a little bit. I mean, I was surprised a little bit at Steve Henson in terms of, um, you yeah, know, normally he's pretty pretty calm and stuff and he's been doing a lot of press conferences in the last couple of weeks. So I can only take that as a sign of respect that he's potentially a little bit worried. You know, we, they arranged you know, a pretty quick game against uh, Samoa. Um, and if you saw the first 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes last night, they, they looked a bit rusty. They needed that, obviously, outstanding in the second half. Um, and the only thing I can take from that is, um, you know, it's unlike Steve. Maybe he's a little bit, a little bit worried about um, potentially how good this team could be. You know, we, we know we've got a big step up playing against the All Blacks. Um, but all I can say from our point of view is that. Um, this could be a great rugby series. You know, it could be fantastic, and everyone could get excited about it. Because wherever we've been in New Zealand, um, the hospitality, the welcome from from the public has been absolutely brilliant. You know, I couldn't speak high enough of that. Um, I, I think the, the off the off field stuff, you know, the, some of the stuff that people have been saying, I think that you know, I think it's, to me puts a bit of a dampener on on the tour. And but that's. It's professional sport now. You've got to live with that and deal with that and move on. So it's not it's not anything that uh, you know it's been worrying for us. It's just something. I, all I've taken from it has gone. Ooh, you know, maybe he's, maybe he's a little bit more worried than he normally is because he's normally so calm and collected. But he's seemed to be saying and saying and delivering a lot of comments about us and about things that he knows or doesn't know about. So you know, I think that that's normally a sign of a of a man who's just a little bit worried. Warren, it's been suggested repeatedly this week that the, the camp is about to split in two, divided, um, unrest, etc. Did that res that performance give a kind of response to that, that everyone's all in together? In terms of who, who suggested that? It has been suggested in, by Steve Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd just explain Steve Hansen then. So, uh, look, uh, there's no way that the, the yeah, we've divided into two. We've got a big game on, on Tuesday night against the Chiefs. I look back on 2013, and we made, you know, between the first and the third test, there were nine different, nine different um, selections. So, you know, the players who, for whatever reason, may not be involved in the first test, you've got to stay alive. You've got to stay in it because you know, might get a chance in, in the second or, you know, or, or in the third test. Um, and you know, we've said all along, it's about preparing um, and, and learning from the games, warming up. But it's all about the test series. It's about winning the test series, and that's what we're here to do. Uh, and I said, look, if we drop a couple of games on the way, uh, we could live with that as long as we showed improvement, as long as we uh, benefited from the time together. And, you know, I think everyone's got to be excited for, for, for potentially what could be a great um, test series. You know, and, and, you know, we've, we've been written off. And, and I think that's, just apart from people saying that splitting us, I actually brought us closer together as a group. The harmony and boys singing in the change rooms just before... Um, you see that you see the guys and and who who weren't involved tonight on the on the touchline and what it means to them in terms of the whole squad. So, I, I, you know we're we're very very close. So if Steve Henson knows what's going on from outside. Then he's a much better man than I am. Warren, can you walk us through uh, what you're able? Sorry, over here. Uh, can you walk us through what you're able to do so successfully in that second half that shut out the Māori All Blacks and you enjoyed nearly ninety percent. Position and territory. Yeah, it was a good. Uh, we we, we sat, 
we, we looked at a few things at half time. There was a couple of stupid penalties in the first half that were, were costly. I think we only gave away one penalty in the second half. Um, I thought our game management was, was excellent in, in the second half. We probably played a little bit too much between the, the, the tens in, in the first half when the conditions weren't right. And you know, It's hard to get sort of forward momentum, uh, particularly early on in a game because everyone's so pumped up and, and fresh. And, and in the second half, I think we went there and we squeezed the life out of them. And we squeezed it up front and we created some, got them behind them and, and, and created some opportunities. Um, and so, you know, it was a, a pretty clinical performance. And, you, and the thing about when you're playing at night games, you've got to play the conditions. It is slippery out there. Um, I thought defensively, when you look at the quality of the attacking quality of their back line, um, and speaking to the players afterwards, they didn't feel under you know under any pressure at all. They didn't feel like the Mary were uh, were able to stress them at all. And, they, and their one tries really from a speculative kick that's got a lucky bounce. So, um, you know, we can be pretty proud of that performance. But we know to play the All Blacks and beat the All Blacks has got to be another step up. And you know, hopefully, we'll see that in the next next week. Johnny, Warren, there's been a lot made about the the call ups, um, and obviously the factor that you've, you've picked them on where they are in the world. I mean, can you just clarify that? Um, Ian McGeekin said that, you know, this is something that shouldn't determine if you wear a Lions jersey or not. There's obviously Joe Launchbury, who's had a great season, all of these kind of guys. Yeah, look, I, I understand the concerns, and we did that in, in 2000, and pretty similar in 2013 in terms of some of the, the call-ups. Um, and the thing is, yeah, we, we could have made some, some of those decisions um, Earlier last week, but we waited until after the Highlanders game before we sat down as a as a coaching group and and looked at um, the players potentially come in and, and players that we're looking to to sit on the bench as cover so that the the best chance. As I said, it's all about the Test series. It's about giving the the, the 23 and some players are going to have to back up. They're going to have to be involved on Tuesday and Saturday, but giving most of those players the best week's preparation for the first Test. I don't. I just don't think you can. You're able to back up and prepare for Tuesday, and then try and try and turn around and, and win the game against uh, game on Saturday. And like I said, it's all about us us doing that for uh, the, the best opportunity for the, the first test. We did that in 2013, and I have no, I'm, I have no doubt that it was one of the reasons we won the test series because we gave players a chance and we gave that test test team a, a chance to win the first test. And if we hadn't have done that, you know, we could have easily lost the series. So. Does it devalue the shirt? Though? Does it devalue the shirt? Um, well, you're only, you're only a lion when you get on the field, and there's a couple of the, two, a few of those players that were, um, you know, probably unlucky that they weren't, you know, potentially in contention in, in the first place. So we've picked up a couple of injuries um, in terms of devaluing the shirt. Like I can see some people's point of that, but we're here to win a test series, and we're and. Um, you know, and it's, it's about guys covering, not not travelling halfway around the world. We found it difficult in the first 10 days when we were here, um, in terms of um, jet lag and time differences and stuff. And the players coming from from Auckland last night and and from from Australia, you know, will be able to fit quickly into that time zone. Gavin, please, and then Charlie. Thank you. Yeah. Or, <coughs> Well, what, what were the key areas uh, of the performance tonight that you felt there was a big step forward from the Crusaders victory? Uh, I, think was, I think we built on the Crusaders victory. I thought uh, um, tonight in terms of you know, the scrummaging was, was very, very solid and we've had, to, we've had to adapt to how the Southern Hemisphere play or scrummage. Um, so, and we've been working on that and we had been working on that before at the start of the tour. Um, and line out wise, again we were we were good, defensively strong. So look, I, I just think that the basics, the elements of that, and you know, we seem to put them. We were much better in the air as well in terms of the the, the control of the aerial game as well. And um, and it does help when your goal kicker kicks seven out of seven or eight out of eight, whatever it was. So um, yeah, very very pleased with that. And and again, the impact of the bench come and gave us some momentum as well. And the guys coming off the bench and. I thought they had, they had some strong displays too. Charlie and Stephen Jones, please. Uh, Peter, uh, Steve Borthwick has, has been saying this tour that you guys need to become the, the best pack in the world. How, um, how close do you think you're getting to that? How much, how much more do you guys need to produce for, for the All Blacks? 
Yeah, look, <clears throat> I think as Warren said, we're, we're, we're building on performances. We're building on, on Saturday and Tuesday games. And I think tonight was another step forward towards towards what our goal is. And, and obviously that is, you know, to beat the All Blacks, you're going to have to be the best in the world. And, and we don't have a huge time frame, but I think we're using our time well. Um, I thought we used tonight well. I thought I thought our set piece was good. Um, but it, there's always room for improvement, you know. There's a lot of things we can work on. And... And we'll go back to the video and we'll have a look at those things and, and we'll we'll kick on into Tuesday. Stephen Jones and then Lauren, please. Uh, Warren, um, you, you mentioned the, the difficulty of coming in on a two or three day uh, jet lag turnaround for the first game. You you slightly um, angry that the England coach who's 13 hours, 13 hour journey away, not even in Buenos Aires, but is up country, is, is telling, you, telling you that you should bring some of those guys over after the experience that you've had in... Uh, at the start of this tour, no, I just I'll let Eddie t do his own talking. He can do plenty of it. So, um, look, we've made the decision that we think is the best decision for us, you know. And I under look, I understand Eddie's concern and people's concern, um, but well, his point, I suppose. But uh, look, I just know I just know how difficult it is, it, it, it is doing that travel, you know, from Argentina. It's not just not as if you're in Buenos Aires. You've got to get here and get around the world and acclimatise um, and you use past experiences for that. Christian Wade came in last time and arrived I think the day before and the travel he had to, you know, he was just, you know, he sat on the bench and, and came on and um, it was obvious that the, the travel had 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 an impact and affected his ability to play. So, um, uh, and for us it was a time frame, was having to look at, to see how the the Highlanders game went, you know, what injuries we, we possibly would have and, and, and how we would cope with that. Um, and then looking to, to make what we thought was the, the right decision for Lauren, us. Please. Um, just a word on Ross Moriart, you are, and you think you mentioned you picked up that back spasm on a car journey down to Fongaray. No, no, you picked it up in the match. But generally, how disappointed are you to lose him? And how grateful are you you've got someone like Falatau who's making that number eight jer jersey his own now? Yeah, no, look, it's, uh, you know, Ross is you know, very, very disappointed that his tour's over and he's you know, picked up that injury in the first game. The physio's um, doctor, is, you know, they've said it's a very unusual injury in terms of that um, the nerve being pinched in, in the leg. Um, and... I thought again, Falatau was was outstanding tonight. I thought his footwork and kickoffs and and stuff was uh, was excellent. And you know, he he seems to be a player that's um, getting better from game from game by game. And obviously, the experiences of 2013 have you know have helped him in terms of um, you know self belief and confidence and you know um, from from being a part of the last tour. Alex, Warren, can you give us an update on? Uh, Owen Farrell's injury uh, and how close Sam Warburton is to being 100%. Um, Sam's fine. He's, uh, you know, was we wanted to get him to get some game time tonight, um, and you know we're hopeful that Owen's going to be okay as well. Um, you know, it's precautionary leaving him out. Um, you know, at a pinch, he probably could have played tonight, but you know, the, the, the ground's quite heavy, and we saw you know a number of players. Um, at half time he had sort of tight hamstrings, tight groins and calves and stuff, just, just how heavy the ground was. So, you know, we were trying to manage them and for us it wasn't um, you know, it was it was important that we you know, we didn't take the risk in terms of trying to put him out there. Two more please, Rory, Chris Jones, final one. And Peter, just uh, you got a bit of treatment before you come off, or is everything okay? And just how was the experience of copying the lines? Yeah, all good. Um look hugely honoured. Um it's an incredible feeling to get picked for the Lions, and, and uh, you know you get any jersey. It's an incredible feeling, and then to you know to get the opportunity to to run out first is is a is a huge honour. And and I, I was I enjoyed every moment of it. Obviously, a, a huge deal for for my family as well. So it was it was um, it was nice to get the win as well. Obviously, most importantly, um, I thought the thought the pack were very good. Thought the set piece was 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 good as well. So it was it was. Happy happy days. Final one, Chris Jones, please. Warren, just just on the on the call ups, um, a lot of your players in this squad have worked extremely hard to to be Lions. Are any of them going to look around at the guys that have come in and, and think they don't deserve that call up? 
I don't, I don't know you'll have to ask them individually. I mean, this, this is something that we'd planned um, right from the start um, and had informed everyone, or the, you know, the coaches, that this is what we were looking to do and it was just about the personnel. So, look, I understand it's difficult when you're so far away from, you know, how, how, when do you bring people in and, and do that. They are, they're going to be with us for a week, that's it, you know, and they're there for, for bench cover. Um, and they understand that that's that's the way it is in the role. And um, like I said, my job is to win a test series, and I'll do whatever it takes to do that. Thank you very much.